what I'd like to do is actually tell you how this happened. Um, last night, all right, I was asleep, <laughs> having a dream. And in the dream, like, people are actually accusing me of crimes and things in this dream that I'm having. Uh, reviewing your filing, it looks like you, you stated here that you have about $5,000 a month in business expenses. I do not see anywhere that adds up to $5,000 of expenses monthly. And I was going to be interviewed on camera and stuff. Basically, I had enough. And that's kind of where the dream ended. I want to set the record straight on this stuff publicly. Whether or not people believe it is their own prerogative. But at least it would be on public record that I'm telling you what really is going on. Really is going on. Is going on. Is going on. The reason that I feel this interview will be different from what they're expecting is because I am going to be an open book. James Rolfe, angry video game nerd. He's clearly a character. People know that there's the angry video game nerd and then there's the character. A great starting point for here is when you're streaming, who is streaming? Is it Phil or Dark Side Phil? Whew. Well, it depends on, okay. So, so Dark Side Phil is your hamming it up. Right now you're just Phil? Uh, yes and no, again, I mean, I, it's cool to be well, able to- what, what is it? Every time that you tune in to my content, you know you're getting the real Phil. You know you're getting my honest opinions on things. You know that you're not getting some kind of bullshit. You're getting the real deal, my real opinion or my real take on something. Okay? Okay. I'm just saying, we just started. All right, let's continue. Sure. Uh, right, right now, I'm playing a game. It's called Wolong Fallen Dynasty. In my opinion, this is my opinion, it's not very good. I'm seeing more attendance on my Wolong streams, and I'm getting more, honestly, more support on my Wolong streams because they want to see that rage come out of me. See right there. See right there. Right the fuck there. For him, he's like support. It's a vague, ambiguous term to Adam and Craig, but for us, we know it means fucking money. What about the part where he? Tell people over and over and over and over and over that he won't play the game anymore if you don't get any support. You will always get a different group of people. That that I'm not gonna play the clips. I'm making this incredibly transparent. I don't like the game. If it doesn't happen today, if we get low attendance, low support, low engagement, I'm done with this game, and we're moving on to something better. I used to be a competitive Street Fighter player. There were no new fighting games out. There were no new fighting games out. So the way to get attention on the competitive Street Fighter community was building up drama. His palms are up, in a position usually indicating that he's asking to be believed or trying to be convincing. I would go online and I would be the biggest internet troll. Oh, I'm gonna stop really, off your fucking really. head and shit to your fucking head. You know who you're fucking talking to? I would make fun of them. I would just destroy them online. And everyone okay, who so feels like so fa let's, fa let's fast forward. He's a hateful person. Take a look at that thing he said 10, 15 years ago. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. That racial joke he made. That ridiculous sexual comment he made. He made. Hey, yo, 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 hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that. That racial joke he made. That ridiculous sexual... Racial joke? Raises eyebrow? What? Racial joke? Now, wait a minute. Look at that eyebrow raise the moment he just processed. Wait a minute, racial joke? What are you talking about? We can pull this up. We have the receipts, and the receipts come from his own channel. Little one-off jokes from 15 years ago. Oh my this God, is, we're gonna oh, play clips. Is, yeah, so you know you know where this is going, and I, I wanna watch oh, this yeah. so, so we all understand what's going on here. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a right off for profit. That's okay. fucked up. I absolutely should have not done that joke. I will tell you that right now, 1 million percent. You know, but you didn't apologize for it, jackass. You know, I'm doing commentary on this game and I'm doing my usual style of improv commentary. I feel like that what that was was a momentary lapse and it's the same style of commentary that I've done over the years. It's not any different. It's di no it's different because I've changed now from anything else that I've done. All right, everyone knows that I try to do all kinds of things on the cuff. Jokes, dark humor. Yeah, it was definitely some dark humor. Okay. Okay. It's just something I've always done. Is it a joke that's acceptable by today's standards by 80% of people, probably not. I agree with you. This is something that I've always done. And those jokes, I don't really make anymore at all. You know, everyone has always enjoyed it. Okay. This is not the norm on my streams. People yes, it is. Out of context. I am actively trying to change. Your You're out of your fucking minds. Okay. 
No one had issue with it. You said you didn't do anything wrong. You did everything correct. That's the problem with you, Phil. You never apologize. Yeah. So, because it, it, it just feels like a, a big leap from going from a sheriff who is like trying to kill people to seeing a little black girl and thinking a slave trade. Oh, you know I mean? no, now you said it. Now you said it. See you said what? Black, you said black girl. It was that, on, on that's screen. That's correct. That's correct. And herein lies the problem. What? I didn't think that. Look out, there's a black woman coming. Ah! <laughs> but in my mind, I didn't even see that. I didn't think that. She takes them both out. Boom! Steals the backpack and runs away. I didn't think of it at, at one moment. Did I ever think, oh, she's a black girl, make a slavery joke? Absolutely not. I, I don't know I, if I, I believe that. He's pretending like he didn't notice. This dude, bro, this dude review a 20 minute TV show and the like main details he give you is what fucking color skin the people had. Okay, and you had to show a clip, one random clip from last summer. Take a look at that thing he said 10, 15 years ago. Last summer, 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, you sound, you sound like, like the abusive ex-boyfriend trying to get back with his girl. I've changed no, we, now, don't worry about it. Adam, you're talking about something that happened 10, 15 years ago. Last summer. So it seems like your biggest detractors uh, are some of your earliest fans. Why, why do you think that is? Again, I've been doing this for 15 years. Here we go again. I had absolutely no effort to make it professional at all. I was being a jackass on camera, okay? And I didn't even have direct capture. For five years, I was having a camera pointed at my TV. Everything looked like junk, okay? And uh, that's why my playthroughs are unique compared to everyone else's who just does their direct capture bullshit. But it was a joke. It was like, I don't care. I'm just some normal guy filming games. I'm terrible at them. You want to know the truth? I'm probably one of the best overall gamers in the country. That's what everyone liked back then. And then someone made a video. And the video was called, This is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid 2 which is illegal. You can't just download someone's video from YouTube and make your own montage without their permission. And then he was making fun of me during it. Who in their right mind would ever do that? Where I did my usual shtick. And my usual shtick is, oh, I suck at the game. Do I, and is it my fault that I suck at the game? Of course not. It's the game's fault. It's Hideo Kojima's fault. Kojima's a fucking cocksucker. If I ever find him, I'm gonna kick him straight in his fucking balls. I'm serious, man. What an asshole. But someone made a parody video and they got all gameplay moments that would have been considered good or fun or entertaining and only focusing on basically the cringeworthy moments. And it blew up with popularity on the internet. Phil is not like his contemporaries. He's not putting effort into his content. He's just a jackass. Look at him. I had absolutely no effort to make it professional at all. Okay. I was, he's just being a jackass, jackass on Look at him. He's a, okay. he's a and joke. My fan base turned on me. So now let's make fun of him. So, so your your fan base turned on you because of what a video that somebody else did. Uh, that doesn't make sense, Phil. Uh, I have a keep, question yeah. for you guys. Has there ever been a community that actually accepted him? Thinking about it, the FGC didn't because he was the villain. Nobody liked him. Yep. The gaming community as a whole, he's he's a joke of that that whole community. Even his own community is just sneak dissing and making fun of him. And he desperately wants to fit into something. That's why he bought all those statues of games he barely cares about. The Assassin's Creed 3, John Connor model. Mm. We've got uh, the uh, Gears of War 3, Cole mm. statue. This is a bust of Shadow Cat from Spider-Man with a mini panda stuck between her titties. Is there any community that ever accepted him and he felt comfortable in? I mean, I'm trying to think. Like, let's let's take it even to like employers, right? He's he's been chased out of even employers. In every sort of community. He's been abrasive to the point where he's not necessarily aggressive. But he escalates things. Uh -huh. he, 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 he chats shit. He sort of like prompts arguments and things. He's not a, a peaceable person. He's not somebody who can like easily let conversation flow through posts. He has to start a fight. He has to start an argument. He has to cause friction. Here's Phil. In other news, it looks like there's an extremely high chance I'll be making this drive myself. <laughs> 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 yes, myself, aka nobody from Team Hate is coming besides myself. <laughs> but which sucks, I know. But I try my best to convince peeps, and they're not fighting. Like imagine.
<laughs> Imagine! But you, like, you, these people are <laughs> fighting game players, and there's yeah. a fighting game tournament, and you're trying to convince, and the thing that they don't want to do. Dude, I'm not like, in another yeah. threat. Why is nobody like using Phil for ride? Because it's DSP. Someone said, why isn't anyone asking Phil for a ride? Next response, because it's Phil. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> no one wants to go with Phil. And this is 2006, you know, after, oh, this is, Evil AJ is the cause of people not liking him, though. Don't forget that. But yeah, this yeah, is how you don't plays or the reason that no one likes Phil is this is how you don't plays. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Evil people AJ. love him at this point. Yeah, people were loving him, dude. <laughs> Everyone loved DSP. Like, this car is stacked. He's like, guys, I can only take four people. Come on. You didn't own up to the fact that people were making fun of you. Then you're just a joke. So it felt like you just kind of, like, let that run your ship that you were you were sailing. Correct. I have, I have nothing I can say to counter that in any defensive manner. It's my fault. It is my fault that people have originally turned against me on the internet. 100% it is. My fan base turned on you. Okay. It's because I am going to be an open book, be an open book, be an open book, be an open book. It is my fault that people. He's only saying that because he's on his stream, but it is what it is. Tomorrow is going to be YouTube's fault because so the algorithm helped the trolls. As people have said, including documentarians, it really was this is how you don't play. It's my fault. And then the next 10 years of ridicule based off of this is how you don't play, it is my fault. I used to be one of the prominent YouTubers, and until it was this is how you don't play, that people actually loved me. Right? Wrong! 100% it is. You better take a sip, you fucking sleazy asshole. Okay. So you feel that your reaction to the this is how you don't play is what really parlayed your fans into becoming detractors? Yeah. What differentiates you now from who you were a decade ago? I didn't know my viewers back then. I didn't have any personal relationships with any of them. Now it's like a friendly community. Shut the fuck up about the fucking bubbles before I take away the bubbles forever. People being little bitches in the chat. I'm trying to learn how to play a fucking game. Shut the fuck up and act older than five fucking years old about the goddamn bubble. You fucking idiot. Now when I play a game, it's a community effort. I'm playing Oblivion right now. I don't know anything about Oblivion. It's the first time playing it, but people help me with the game. Why is the chat silent? Hello? Hello? And because of that social aspect, the game is a relaxing, chill session. I don't get it. I get this all the time. Someone will come by a stream of mine. None of the stuff that people say about you just happened in the stream. And I don't get but it. But that's fake sometimes, DSP. People do that to get your attention. It's been a thing for a long time. How you, know, how you don't realize this, bro? I used to be an, an idiot. I, I, I hate React content. Reacting, that's low brow, that's little, minimum effort. Let's see if this is good. I feel that React content is some of the worst on the internet. It's ruining content creation because it's an easy paycheck for someone who disrespects you, and you just asked me to make some of that content. Okay, let's go back. And now I try it, and it works. I'm not doing <laughs> thumbnails with my silly face <laughs> all over every single thing that I do on YouTube. I'm not doing clickbait. I'm not doing all the trends. Are you serious? I start doing react content, people love it. Oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> That's the difference, is that I've now become a more laid back guy. Can't, I literally can't do anything. Why do you think I lost? Cause it didn't give me my fucking news again, again. Do you just want to relax with me? Get fucked. You just want to relax with Phil. I have depression, you dumb fuck. And people told Got me it. that they were- What's a day like look for you? Okay. Like when you, from, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep? Uh, usually I don't wake up. Usually my cat wakes me up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen who does not know, the reason why his cat wakes him up is because this fucking piece of shit, when he's going to bed, does not allow the kitty litter box to stay in the bedroom. So he takes the fucking kitty litter box, leaves it outside, and locks the door with the cat inside. So the cat is unable to relieve himself until Phil wakes up. That's why his cat is waking him up. Yeah, sometimes he does. Sometimes he tends to wake up super early and I don't know why. Because he has to use the bathroom, dumbass. Sometimes it'll be like 7 in the morning. I'm like, dude, I don't need to be up for another like 2 hours. And he'll just want to get up. The other day, he had to use the bathroom. And it's annoying because we tried having a, a litter box in the bedroom with us, but it smells. Like the bedroom would contain with that scent smells because if he even uses it once during the day that compacts okay so we ended up having his litter boxes outside of the bedroom but if he 
doesn't use the potty before we go to sleep. Sometimes he wakes up early in the morning, he has to go to the bathroom. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You hear it? This is straight from the man's mouth. This is straight from his goddamn fucking channel. Okay, so he has the cat locked up in there. You know, we were talking workday wise. My workday starts roughly around 9 30, 10 a.m. And just based off of what you're saying right now, that, that doesn't seem like the most healthy lifestyle. It doesn't seem like a very healthy lifestyle. Do you feel that they are encouraging you to live that lifestyle that may not be the healthiest lifestyle? So you're saying through people showing up and supporting my streams, they're making me work more. Is that the question? So it, it, it's like cyclical. Okay, fair enough. Don't confuse action for achievement. And that is exactly what Phil Brunel needs to hear. That's what the people <laughs> on the side scroll has tried to tell them. They're mm -hmm. like, they try to explain it to them. They're like, don't you ever think that your audience is keeping you stuck in this loop? And it just flew right over his head. He's like, you mean by fans, by giving me money or like <laughs> doing what exactly? <laughs> and then they're just like threw their hands up and they're like, oh, I just, we just got to move on. This isn't going anywhere. He completely missed the whole point because he took it just literally. As always. That's why it's, if you interview Phil, it's a tough. And again, I, I, I want to make something very clear here. I am not trying to put myself out as a victim. Um, trolling activities, you know, false copyright strikes. It kicked my channel out of the algorithm. My trolls took the king of hate mantra and they got me kicked out of the Twitch partner program because of it for no valid legal reason. told me all here's what i where they told me <laughs> Fuck they off. launched an investigation into your history and we found that over the years you have used um what was the word it wasn't racial you know it, it hateful slurs harmful slurs <laughs> harmful we did an investigation and found that you have used something I, I forget the exact terminology it was either like hate speech or hateful slurs or something like that i can't even remember what they said hateful slurs and then they kicked me out of their partner program for no justifiable reason at all they said i did something wrong oh you were what were they well, i forget i even forget at this point what they even said hateful, hateful slurs or hateful speech or something slurs. i don't even know what they said anymore i'm so at a loss for it i was removed from the twitch partner program for no legitimate reason hateful slurs twitch dropped me from the partner program for no good reason i could call him mr hateful slur <laughs> Twitch kicked me out of the partner program for no justifiable oh, reason at all besides swear. they're just assholes. Twitch had no issue with me. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. What, so what, what did they do to get you removed off Twitch specifically? <clears throat> they said, he's the king of hate. Here's a bunch of bigoted, racist, sexist, horrible jokes he's made over the years. And they compiled this into like a montage. And they basically had hundreds if not more people pummel these businesses with it right to mm -hmm. convince someone that you've changed you're making the same kind of like inappropriate jokes that you were back then correct so it's kind of so they're right are they no, right or are they wrong i mean they're they're right in saying that i still make mistakes i've seen plenty of clips i just wanted to point that out they're wrong in saying this is who phil is all the time this is his content because that's what got this this happening and did, did twitch it up, tell you that did they say that to you Oh, we found that you said this a hundred years ago. Sorry, you're gone. We have absolutely no legal obligation to tell you what you did wrong. Which one is it? DSP <laughs> claims that Twitch sent him a private email letting him know that the reason he got unpartnered from Twitch is because of a bunch of false flag claims. And yeah. I would like Craig to request that email privately. Just be like, hey, can you send that to me just privately? Because <laughs> that there. doesn't sound like it makes any sense. Well, why did I get kicked out of the, the partner program on Twitch? Literally, I have evidence because someone at Twitch I, you know, I'm never going to reveal this, who it was. <sighs> My source is that I made it the fuck up. Someone at Twitch showed me the evidence. They put together a portfolio of offensive content. People what like, oh, what did they back. say you said? I believe it was the N-word. Did you, you say the N-word? Oh, no. I was playing uh, Returnal. And when I was playing it, I was in the middle of saying something. And then, like, an enemy attacked me. When stationary negative 75 percent damage that's really bad and then like an enemy attacked me did you say the n-word oh no Bruh. oh he said the n-word something i didn't even do what's their number one critique of me you beg too much i wouldn't beg if you didn't keep messing with my income
I am not trying to put myself out as a victim. You keep ruining it for me. Begging for money is never a good look for anyone. Completely anyone. agree. Completely agree. I can't, I can't dispute it. I refuse to just sit here and beg, 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 beg for money. So, beg, 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 beg. There you go. Here's a nice begging session. For all of you, I know it's absolutely obnoxious. You can't stand it. I love what I do now. There's been so many times where we've asked a question and your mm -hmm. response was instantly blaming other people. It's a real simple yes or no. Mm -hmm. Do you currently still play WWE champions? Yes. I haven't played in years. I told you guys I don't play mobile games anymore. Yes, you do. Yes. I quit on all of them. I don't play mobile games anymore, but all right. I don't play mobile games anymore. Yes, you do. Yes. I gave all those games up years ago. Like I said, definitively, I gave up mobile gaming when Cat would in with me. I don't, I don't even care about the details that they talk about because it's all such fucking nonsense. I just don't care. Yes, you do. Yes. I seriously don't. I'm not going to pay any attention to it. And that's all I'm saying on the subject of mobile games because that's the truth. That's what I told you guys a million times on stream. You guys ask me about mobile games and stuff. I always answer exactly the same way. Why are you so uh, hesitant to talk about that? Oh, why am I hesitant to talk about WWE Champions? Um... He repeats the question before answering, which gives him a pause to think about what exactly he wants to say. The reason this is a red flag is because the question is simple and straightforward, and not a complex question that requires a lot of thought. Um, well the thing is, I wasn't at first. I did talk about it publicly. What's the better option? Sit here and talk about it for half an hour like I just did, or just say, I don't play mobile games, fuck this. You know, don't listen to them. Okay, do you hear what the man just said? The man literally just said he would rather lie than have to explain himself. Um, you know, it's nothing that I would think that my audience would be super interested in. So I've said a million times, I don't play mobile games, right? Well, here we go. Oh, but you said on your podcast about your marriage that on the plane in 2019, you were playing mobile games. It's like, what the fuck? I don't play mobile games actively. Um, my wife actually does. Fuck this guy. He's a piece of shit. Can I ask you, Phil, ha have sure. you ever spent money on this game? Of course I have, yes. The nonsense that idiots perpetrate on this fucking internet about me spending money on mobile games and other stupid shit it's all bullshit then, how much money have you spent in this game you might you do you mind saying total i couldn't tell you you're stressing for money and then putting money into a game they feel like you're using your audience you know you you say you beg too much and you, you know you're working on that which is good it's not a good look but they're assuming that's me in the game Playing WWE champions while begging is bad enough, but 2020 saw some significant pieces of evidence emerge suggesting DSP has been wasting tens of thousands of dollars on this wrestling themed mobile game. You had an opportunity with, with Keemstar and Drama Alert. To go on, to go on there for a, it was a fifty thousand dollars was being offered to you, right? But why not do that? I'm not gonna crap on the guy here, but I don't like these drama YouTubers. I call them misery brokers. I feel that's the worst kind of content. I said this one day, casually, casually. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's this simple: stop watching Keemstar. Stop watching Keemstar. Stop watching Keemstar. Stop watching Keemstar. He starts insulting me and everything on the internet. Um, Keem, you are someone who, damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. I don't like these drama YouTubers. I call them misery brokers. Hold on, I gotta go back. Keem, you, you are, are someone, someone who, who Game, you are someone who. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watch nah, a documentary. Don't suck his dick. Team, you are a great businessman. Everyone knows that. Then I guess I'm a beggar. And you know what? I think I'd rather be a beggar than a Keem star. That's so admirable. Stop. And if anything, one of the things you absolutely need to be praised for is your determination. Watching. You're still there. You never gave up. Keem. I'll probably be forgotten. I'll just be a fart in the wind, right? Star. I respect you immensely, but, 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 I mean, of course, there's always a but. 
when you look at how Keem made his money, I'm going off documentaries, right? Holy from shit, Phil. I got to say, this is fucking rich coming from you right now, though. Yeah, you, you're, get, you're getting your information from the detractors that Keem has, and that's where you're basing this on. When this whole episode, you have been talking about how much shit your detractors have mm -hmm. made other people think about you. Like, do you hear yourself right now? Indeed, I do. That's the nature okay. of the beast. That's how YouTube works, man. That's how all this works, right? Fuck, man. You're right. So, stupid you're right. You're right. Man, I'm, 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 like I'm critical. You always do that. I'm going by what people tell me. Right? Don't go by what other people tell you. Watch my streams. From what I've heard, but he judges other people based on what people tell him. I just wanted to point that out. Ha <laughs> ha, you're on level one. Ha ha ha, Phil, level one. Yo, you've been for 15 years. You're just on level one. Do you think I need that? I have renamed my podcast as the level one podcast. I don't need Mr. Big Time punching down on me. I'm a tiny little guy. You are not small. You just think small. You just have small dick energy. He's reacting to my retirement and he's saying I'm this horrible, evil person, da 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 da, and he doesn't support me. Is that true, Phil? I don't like, know. What do you mean? I'm you... sure I've criticized him. I don't know specifically what he's talking Again, about. Again, see. Okay, continue. I, I don't... No, no, no. Phil doing something fucked up, and he doesn't even remember. So this man goes out and just does reckless shit and doesn't remember it. That is something that needs to be addressed. Come on, dude. Like, Can I ask Phil a question? Making... Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Uh, you had the fappening, right? And I covered the story mm -hmm. on my platform that I'm making money off of other people's downfalls, right? That's the way you see it? Yes. The reason why you don't like my show and you don't support me is because we covered the the fapping uh, situation in 2016. Okay. You covered it fairly. You covered it fairly. I don't think you were unfair at all. That's not the case. Thank you. Let's take a look at your history here where you've actually staged stuff. It, explain that. It. And mm -hmm. I guess there was a situation with a YouTuber and I think our show covering this YouTuber, drama. I think it was YouTuber. allegations. That Come to find out, you, you know, know, later on, he appeared or supposedly as an between honest my scenes. Like, yes. I guess he wants to show covering this drama. I think it was allegations that he had been. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what? It's out there. Just so you know. What in God's holy name are you blathering about? You watched and supported another YouTuber doing exactly what Dromler does. It's a good point. Yeah. Can we come to the conclusion that one of us is wildly more successful? Oh, I'm not, I don't even say I'm successful at all. I'm successful. I'm successful. I'm successful. I'm successful on YouTube. I'm successful. The reason I'm successful is that's why I'm still successful. But another reason why I'm successful, all right? is because I wouldn't even say I'm successful at all. I took Wings of Redemption and mm -hmm. Boogie 2988, and I'm setting up a boxing match between the two of them. You know, are you gonna watch? No. Yes, you are. No, yes, I'm not. Are. I, I don't, don't watch that you. crap. I don't watch Wait, your crap. Phil, you your Phil. Mind? You really did this? No. No, yes, I'm not. Are. You don't come across as trustworthy. Like, you don't know anything about me. I think let's let's leave it here, right? Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for having me on. Definitely. All right. Um, hey. Have you ever uh, tried to remove uh, reactive content? No, I've never tried to do that. You know, he legit falsely copyright struck my channel. He did it because he wanted to, quote, teach me a lesson. I did the same thing. I did claims on them. And actually in this case, with this person, after about a month or two, I said, all right, you know what? I think they learned a lesson. I do not claim anyone's videos. I hate it's it so much. I've ever claimed. And the beauty of it is, I only have a case because you were so stupid and showed your flag history. The very few videos I've ever claimed were direct. This is a premium DSP statement. I don't claim anyone's videos. The videos I have claimed are dot, dot, dot. So you've claimed videos then. Why did you say what you just said? <laughs> Is there anything that you feel that you need to touch on before we leave, before we Man. part today? I'm sorry that I have to bring this up, but I talked with my wife about it. I want to get this out in the open. Did you ever find the restraining order that she had against her ex? Goodbye. Fatality.
Yeah, what are you gonna do, right? You see how, how shell shock I am here? <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, I'm gonna be a little shaky. I was on the show for so long, I had two cups of coffee this morning. Two, to prepare for that, which I almost never had, and I was like, oh my god. I can't even do stuff normally, I'm so like all over the place today. But I do feel like I very intelligently conducted myself on that show. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Holy shit, <laughs> Phil. Fuck, man. Mint says, do you feel it was a fair interview? It felt like an ambush? How was that an ambush? Showtime did a super chat. Felt like it was a setup, though. How do you feel it was a setup? I don't feel that at all. If I'm the person who was interviewed and I don't feel it was a setup, how do you feel it was a setup exactly? Right? See, Butler Spirit, here's the difference. He says, why only take negatives away from the Keem vid, what you've heard, but feel it's unfair? I've seen Drama Alert. It's trash. Keem, you are a great businessman. Everyone knows that. Damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. It's trash game. It's a trash content. It's da it's bad. And if anything, one of the things you absolutely need to be praised for is your determination. You're still there. You never gave up. That's crazy. That's so admirable. One million percent. I don't like his content. I have issue with it. I respect you immensely, but I'll probably be forgotten. I'll just be a fart in the wind, right? The part where Keemstar kept saying you were going to watch Lal Kal boxing match was being... Why would I watch that? I you guys know I don't watch any of that shit. I you guys tell me about it. I don't know anything about it. Oh, you're going to watch it. Keem, again, he's such a giant inflated ego in his own head. And by the way, now I'll say, oh, he's talking about me. Yeah, Keem, you essentially evaded my episode of Side Scrollers, my interview. Now I'm going to talk about you. You're going to deal with it. All right? He has such a giant inflated egotistic head that he's like, you're going to watch my content. I never watched your content, dude. I've seen Drama Alert. It's trash. I don't watch your content. I, even the clips I can't stand. I want to vomit. I can't watch that shit. Sorry that I have morals in a different moral compass than you. But I do, you know, you're going to watch that. No, I'm not. Again, I don't want to talk about Keem all day. I really don't. Hopefully, this will kind of be the end of it. I don't know. It's not going to be the end of it, by the way. The two best outcomes is that either those guys either believe me or they just don't care. Correct? It's one or the other. Super chats have been amazing. Uh, I want to let you know that, that uh, we will definitely take a look at them.